Hello and welcome back to Sunny Talk Spurs and today I'm going to be ranking some Tottenham kits. If you're brand new to the channel, go downstairs and like the video, subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's rank some kits. So as we all know, Tottenham Hotspur are famous for having a kit with a particular style. It's usually white with either white or blue shorts, maybe a bit of yellow chucked in, purple in an away kit, stuff like that. A lot of people say it's boring. I tend to disagree. I think it's iconic. I think, you know, that lovely cockerel badge, you know, we've had some good kit makers and manufacturers over the year. We've had some howlers, because we'll probably discuss some of them now. But all in all, I think we've We've got some nice kits. I think people are quite harsh about Tottenham kits because I look at some other teams who have very iconic colours and styles and I don't see any difference between us and like their kits. I just find it a bit of a, you know, a new stick to hit Tottenham with. But as you can see on screen right now, here is the tier list. They're all Tottenham home kits. We're doing home kits uh, from the year 2000 to the year 2022, because that was the most up-to-date tier list I could find. And we've got, as the categories, iconic, pretty good, standard, not good, and get in the bin. I'm going to rank them all now, talk about some of my memories from the kits, what I like, what I don't like, players I you know remember wearing those kits fondly. And should we just get into it? Yes, I think we should. So I'm going to start... From I'm going to go in the order that it is at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to start with this Under Armour kit. Now, I'll be honest, I'm, I, I keep forget which season and which years they all are. So just bear with me. I probably won't mention the years. I'll just say what happened in those seasons. So we're going to start with this Under Armour kit with the sash on it. And that kit gave me memories of our title challenge with Leicester. Obviously, had some bad memories in the end. And a lot of people made fun of this kit because they said it looked like a seatbelt Um but as you can see, it's a, it's a nice sash. Uh, the sash design sort of mimics um, the design on the Tottenham ball on the badge. So I, f I think that's quite nice. Very Tottenham-esque. Bit different. I think it's like one of our most different home kits that I've ever seen. Um, and I do really like that. I think I'm going to put that in pretty good. I think that's solid. You know, for Under Armour as well, I think Under Armour weren't our best. They weren't our worst. They had some good ones, but I think that one's really, really solid. Reminds me of like Harry Kane when he was really coming to form uh, and that Pochettino team, Battle of the Bridge and all that. I think that's a very nice kit, just a bit different. The only thing I'll say, and we're going to get into this, AIA, a good sponsor, bringing a nice amount of revenue to the club. But why has it got to be red? I'm a bit old school. We should not have red anywhere near our kits because of the Arsenal. Why, like, and also there's this thing I've heard people say, like my good friend Kieran Carlin. Apparently, AIA want to keep it red because that's their logo. But then you look at our home and alternate kits in the same period, and they've been white, they've been green, they've been yellow, everything. But for the home kit, it's got to stay red. I don't get it. Right, moving on to the next one, and I think this might have been one of the first Ar Under Armour kits. <sighs> See, this gives me like a rugby shirt vibe. It's quite tight. On the lower section. Uh, and I just don't... The use of the yellow is okay. I mean, I said I do like yellow on a Tottenham kit. But I'm going to put that in not good. I think that one's just a basic template. Bit shoddy. Not the biggest fan of that one. I find that one just a bit lazy. Just... I don't know what... Under, there's a reason that you don't see many Under Armour kits anymore. And I think that might be why. It's just... Bog standard, the AIA, just that weird, I don't get what that bit's about. I feel like it would have been nicer going up the shoulders, but I don't know if that's too competitive with Adidas. So I'm going to put that in not good. I just think it's a bit boring. Next we've got the HP kits. Now, what I like about this one is HP was quite an iconic sponsor back in the day uh, in the 90s, noughties. So I did like that, it was like a bit of a homage really, even though I don't know... How many people have HP printers anymore? I mean, think they're too expensive to own a bloody printer. Like the bloody ink you have to get, but enough about that. Um, Under Armour again. Obviously a bit of a different sponsor. The neckline, I think, is quite nice. It's, again, it's just, it is a bit of a, just a simple white kit, that one. Uh, I'm going to put that in standard. I think that's all right. 
bit of middle of the line, traditional Tottenham white kit. I think that's all I can say about that one. The problem is the next two look very, very similar. Maybe the collar's different. I mean, if you're just changing a collar, I mean, back in the day, they used to have kits that would go on two seasons, but obviously they know they can make money now. Uh, for this first one, I think I'm going to put that in pretty good. I Again, mansion, red. Why is there red? I mean, the Puma kits were hit and miss as well, to be fair. But I like this one because... It's just, those ones was just so iconic with that Champions League sort of era, the Harry Redknapp days. Uh, Puma, quite simple. I had a training kit of this. It was nice and clean and white. Um, I just think it's really good. I do like that one. Whereas this one, I'm not really sure if I like the collar or the fit, so I'm going to put that one in standard. They're just very similar. I don't get, I've not really helped my argument here. Those two are just too similar. I'm not the biggest fan uh, of that other one, but... Uh, Please help me this tier list. You're, gonna, you're sending me down the river. Right, this next one. I did like this one. This reminds me of Champions League era as well. Again, got that, a bit of a sash along the shoulders. Uh, Autonomy, I think that was the sponsor. Um, before I think we switched to AIA. Um, I do like it. I do like it. Um, I just think that one looked really nice with the blue shorts. The little like comparison. Uh, Guy, I never got that one actually. I think I'm going to put that in... See, I haven't put any in Iconic yet, have I? I don't think that's Iconic. I'll put that one in pretty good as well. I think some, for some reason that's reminded me of Tom Huddleston and Wilson Palacios. It's weird what uh, what players come to mind when you see those sort of kits. I think that's nice. I think blue trim on a Tottenham kit is always good because it's sort of like our second colour. Uh, yeah, very solid. And again, I think these were some of these kits that were coming in were when we were cha we changed our badge from the traditional badge to the most um, up-to-date badge, like the one that's on everything now. Uh, so, yeah, I really like that one. Uh, now, this kit. See, this was one of the lazy Nike kits. I mean, they all have been a little bit. But, again, blue trim, AIA, Nike, clean tick. I get standard. Again, it's one of those ones where it comes out and you go, it's all right. It's just... Just all right. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's one of those ones where you might go, I'll skip this year buying it and I'll wait till next year to see if there's a bit, or I'll just get it in the sale from Sports Direct or something like that. But I want to go quickly onto this next kit because I love this kit. I am slamming it in iconic. Um I just think it's so good. It's so clean. It's got everything that you'd want in a Tottenham home kit, really. It's got blue trim on the shoulders, which is a throwback to a bit of another kit on this list. It's got yellow round the collar, which I think is really nice as well. Another one of our special colours. Um, and also, I like the design. For some reason, it reminded me of the Drake album with Future. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I did like that sort of like jagged, diamondy design. Um... That was also when Bale came back, so I liked that. Kane got the golden boot and the assist, highest assists. Um, the AAA is still red. The, the the sleeve, I've got this shirt. The sleeves are a bit weird. They're a bit of a weirder material. They're like a bit of a, I can't really describe what it is. It's like a thinner material to the shirt. And it makes it look like I'm tensing when I'm wearing it. But I'm not. Uh, yeah, iconic. I really like that one. One of the best in a few years. Now, this next one is a bit like a bog standard version of the blue kit up here with the stripe on it. I think I'm going to put that in not good. Don't really, I don't really like that too much. I think the sponsors, the, the thing is, these sponsors are all blue, which is quite nice. It actually, like, when the sponsor colour matches the, you know, the, the, the kit sponsor and the club badge. I think it, lo it all looks really good, but this shirt's quite plain. It did look like a bit of a white baggy t-shirt, especially as most of the players did wear it a bit baggy. Um, so yeah, not really, not really sold on that one. Now this next kit, I'm in two minds about this next kit because I'm between pretty good and iconic. Iconic because of the memories. Obviously that was the shirt when we got to the Champions League final. It was also a bit different as well. The collar's quite nice. And it had that blue sort of like uh, tie-dye effect that it got thicker towards the shorts. And what was good was when you wore the blue shorts, it like blended into them. Tottenham famously wear all white in Europe. Um, I think we actually this season might be wearing all white in all our games because um, we haven't got European football. But this one, 
when you wore the white shorts, it was just like it was faded in and then it just block of white again. So it did look a bit weird. Um, I think I'll put that in pretty good. I'll put that in pretty good because I feel like that thinking of that negative sort of holds me back. So, yeah, we'll go for pretty good. And next we have, oh, now this isn't the one I own. This That one's at the end of the list. But I love this kit. It, Holston kit. Iconic sponsor, one of the most iconic Spurs sponsors you can think of. Adidas as well. Oh, please. If we had Adidas kits now, I think they'd be sublime. You just can't beat the blue stripes. This one's nice as well because it's got that blue under the armpits. Uh, just the stripes and the collar. Oh, it's just it's so iconic. It's hard actually to pick between that and the other one on the list. Um, but I'm sure I'll make a decision when I come to that one. But yeah, just iconic. Just you know, very Klinsman-esque, isn't it? Like, some of our best players have worn that kit. Oh, it's just so good. Next one we have... Oh, we've got a few of the Thompson kits in a row. Now they're two-y, I think. This one's all right. These these all remind me of, like, Robbie Keane and Jermaine Defoe. I might do some of these ones quick. Mm, that one, I think, is ugh. standard for that one. That one, I think, is not good. That one I think's good. This one, this one's the best one. Jermaine Defoe, it also pays homage to sort of when we've had it on the shoulders. I'm putting that one in Iconic. I had that one when I was younger as well. I just think it's a really good use of the blue going on the shoulders and down the sides of the body. The sponsor's nice. Kappa as well. Kappa were all right. They were a bit hit and miss. I had a lot of Kappa stuff. I had the shorts and the socks and all that. Um, but I think out of all those kits, I like to do them as one because I think they're all quite similar. Uh, but that one out there is just so iconic with the blue shorts as well. It just looked really, really nice and just reminds me of Jermaine Defoe and I love Jermaine Defoe. This one, uh, again, some of these mansion kits are quite similar. I do like that one. Pretty good. I like the blue. If it's got blue trim on it, I think it's really nice. Uh, the mansion bet's a bit weird, a bit longer. Uh, Puma, I think that one was quite clean, quite nice. So I'll keep that one there. The yellow one, my dad had this one. I think I'll put that in standard. Yeah, I'll put that in standard. I think that one's all right. Not too bad. I've just realised we haven't got any in Get In The Bin. I might put that one down to Get In The Bin. Because the more I look at it, the more it makes me upset. So, yeah, and back to this mansion one. Yeah, I think the yellow's nice. Um, that one was quite good. Good use of yellow. I feel like when we implement yellow well with a home kit, it is quite nice. Uh, we tend to have more yellow away kits, purple away kits as well. Uh, which has been quite nice. This one, though, this was a good Under Armour kit. I'm going to put that in pretty good. Had a nice bit of yellow, goldy, the shoulders again. This one was very good. Mine's, mine's with Kane when he won the golden boot. Just with Under Armour, though, they're very, they're, they're quite rugby-ish. They give me that rugby vibe, um, which is very weird. Um, but, yeah, I think that one can go in there. This Nike one... Not not good, just a bit basic, that one. Just it, all, all that one was was a clean shirt. Um, just a bit boring. This one, I don't know why we don't have this badge more often. I'm putting that in pretty good. It's weird how I've put that one in not good and that one's not different, but it's because the badge is in a shield and I really like that. And again, I think that one was a bit more cleaner um, than this one. This picture doesn't do it justice, I don't think, but it does look a bit rubbish. Collar's quite nice as well. That one's got to be in pretty good. Then we go to this Under Armour kit. Now, I own this one. This was Bale in his last season. Um, I bought. I remember buying this one. And it's got this really nice detailing on the back of a cockerel. But I didn't get a number on the back of this shirt. So you can see it. But it's very rugby-ish. Hasn't aged well. I think I'd put that in not good. Doesn't fit me anymore either. So, not ideal. And then, finally, I own this kit. I nicked it off my dad. Iconic. I think this one is slightly better than the other Holston kit. It's a bit like a, this uh, a Real Madrid shirt as well. It's got lovely, the short sleeve as well is really nice with the Adidas. Really nice detailing on the badge. Really nice sponsor. The sponsor's not just a sticker, it's like a proper embroidered design. And I think that's really, really good. I'm quite happy with that tier list. I'm happy with the order of that. You know, it's sometimes a template, but I think when we when we get it good, it's really good. When we don't, it just really isn't amazing. 
But what's annoying is this only goes up to 2022. So, I, I, I for this season's kit... See, I like this season's kit. Everyone was like, oh, it's just white again. But it has this nice little detailing on it. Uh, the font and lettering on the back is quite nice as well. I'd put that in pretty good. I do like that. It's it's similar to the 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 Bale seat when Bale returns season, the one in the top left. But I'd put that in pretty good if it was on here as well. So that's the final tier list. What do you make of my selections? I'm pretty happy with that, I think brought back a lot of memories let me know in the comments down below where would you rank these Tottenham kits did I get some of them wrong should I rank some of them a bit lower should I rank some of them a bit higher let me know in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed this type of video let me know what else would you like me to rank on tier lists I'm very open to doing tier lists I find them a lot of fun if you want to let me know certain tier lists let me know in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again on the next one bye